teaching you how to calculate the expected date of delivery. That is when you should expect in the birth of your unborn baby. And uh, it is known as the EDD, expected date of delivery. In expected date of delivery, the most important thing to do here as a woman is your LMP. The LMP means last menstrual period. And you are expected to know the first day of your last menstrual period. Once you know the first day of your last menstrual period, to calculate the EDD will be very, very easy for you. Okay, for instance, let's assume that uh, Adobe, the, the first day of uh, Adobe's last menstrual period was uh, January 4th, 2020. So, when should Adobe be expecting her date of delivery? Now, to do this, we are about to add 9 in months. Also, add 7 in days. Using MDY date arrangement. MDY means month, day, and year. Alright, let us take this one. Now, this is first person, second person, third person, fourth person. When are they expected to give that? Okay, let us take number one person now. Let's take this one. January. January 4th, 2020. January is 1. 4, 2020. Then, they said, add 9 in months. Add 9 in months. Then, add 7 in days. 9 plus 7, 9 plus uh, 1 now gives you 10. 7 plus, uh, 7 plus 4 now gives you 11. 20, 20. In months, 10 is October. It was October 11th, 2020. So, if you are pregnant by January, and your last menstrual period was on 4th January, you should be expecting your baby on 11th of October, that's in year 2020. So that is the EDD for this person now. Your EDD is October 11th, 2020. Okay, what of this person now? The first day of her last menstrual period was January 29th. Then January is 1, 29th is the day, 2020. As usual, add 9, add 7. Are you getting the point? So when you add it up, this plus this one now is going to give you 10. This plus this is going to give you 36, 2020. 36 is more than a month. So we're going to split it now into 30 and 6. Because it's 30 plus 6 that will give you 36. Now, this 30 now, you are seeing, is one month. And 6 is the day. Are you getting the point now? So, what I'm going to do now, take one month, add it to this month here, and I'm going to have, that is plus 1. So I'm going to have 10 plus 1 now, and I'm going to have 11. So 10 plus 1 now gives you what? 11 to 1, which is November. And bring down your 6 days. And bring down your what? Your 20, 20. So for this person now, this person is expected to leave back on November 6, 20, 20. Now, what of this person now? What of uh, this third person? What of this third person? What of this third person now? The third person now, the, the, the first day of her last menstrual period was December 3rd. That is, uh, that is uh, December 12th. 3rd, 
2021. Now, as we shall add 9, add 7, add up. Then this plus this now is going to give you 21. This plus this now is going to give you 10. Bring down your 2021. Now, we, we, 21 is more than a year. 21 months is more than a year. So what are you going to do? You split it. Just the way we split it is not. So you have to split it now. So when you split it now, you're going to have 12 months, which is one year, plus 9. So that this one now becomes one year, and this one now becomes 9 months. You get the point now? Add it up now, then that means take this first year, add it here, add one year, this one year. And what I'm going to have left here now is nine, nine months. Okay. Then one plus one now gives you 2022. 20, so and nine, nine months now is, uh, is what now is September, September 10th now, 2022. So, if you are pregnant in the month of December and your last menstrual period is 3rd December 2021, you are expected to give birth on 10th of, uh, you are expected to give birth on the 10th of September, the following year, 2022. So, this is how to create So, if you like this lesson, please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. And in more tutorial, make sure you click on the button bell so that once I post a new content, you'll be notified. Thank you. See you in our next video.